Hello, Karin Scassell here on behalf of Makers Mercantile with the top five things to go over in today's newsletter. So item number one, our yarn for this newsletter is our Ambiente made by Shopo Volo. Ambiente, there you can see how it's spelled, Ambiente, is a 100% merino wool. It is a DK weight. And you usually use like a US six needle, um, get anywhere from uh, probably probably around six stitches to the inch, I think is, is what, your, what your average is. What makes this yarn unique is that it is a printed yarn and it is printed in a pattern that is not really a gradient, it is not really an ombre and it is not really a ferrile. So it's a very unique Print. As you can see, there's every once in a while, there's little stripes, um, there's solid uh, areas, all different kinds of things. But what makes it, uh, or what pattern that looks really great with it is modular knitting. And so I have a whole bunch of modular um, pieces behind me that were all created with this yarn. Um, let me let me begin let me just show you a picture a picture let me just show you um, a pillow this is modular knitting as you can see um, and modular knitting basically means that you're doing squares and they're usually worked from the ins or from the outside in um, and uh, this one has one big one on the back a bunch of small ones on the front this little pillow by the way um, does take three balls of the ambiente and then just give you another piece before I tell you what our great special is. Oh, here's another one of the pillows and you can see it in a different color. Um, this is a hat that is done in entrelock. So this is entrelock in the round and you can see how beautiful the, um, the stitches and the actual pattern work out on here. If you look at it closely, you'll see where some of those striped areas are and so on. And it gives it a really, really beautiful um, hat that you normally would not see. So the hat, by the way, takes two balls. But now let's get to our special. Our special is you need to purchase 10 balls. But listen to everything that you get when you purchase 10 balls. So when you purchase 10 balls, you are not only going to get your 10 balls, but you're also going to get the pattern for this great shawl. Okay. And let me show you the whole entire shawl. I mean, it is a very, very large shawl. Um, it is called the Modular Shawl with uh, ruffled edges, and it is a design by Kathy Gomez. She also designed the pillow. And, um, and I have quite a few of these shawls here for you to look at color-wise. So there's this one right here, um, and I guess I could read you off the color on that. That one is color 2183. Then I have this beautiful colorway right here, um, and this is like some teals and uh, has a little bit of chartreuse in it and so on. This one is color 2184. And I also, can you see this one from back there? This one is um, for all you autumn people. This one has some chartreuse and green and all of a little tiny bit of gold color. And then it has accents of, a, um, of an aqua in there too, which makes it really unique. And that is color number 1860. Uh, oop, is it 1860? It is, it's 1860. Sorry, I wasn't sure if I was reading off the dye lot there. Um, and then the, the one that is featured in the actual newsletter and is on this body back here, that is in the brown tones with also a tiny little bit of aqua, and that is color number 1864. So there you go. You've had four samples that you can look at. You've got the shawl. And so what we were saying was that if you buy 10 balls, you'll not only get the shawl pattern for free, but you'll also get the needle that goes with it. And um, I do believe the needle in this case is going to be a turbo needle it's a 32 inch us5 you're also going to receive a class that's right a one and a half hour class is going to come with it so if you purchase those 10 balls the class actually covers and it's taught by kyle kunicky how to do the modular knitting specifically for this shawl because all the pieces are attached together it's all worked as one piece so it's not like at the end you're sitting there having to put all these pieces together and he's going to go over modular modular knitting how this is put together and everything. That class is going to happen on October 22nd, I believe. Um, let me see, October 22nd, yep, at 4 p.m. If you cannot make it to that class, it's from 4 p.m. to 5.30, we will record it, and if you have purchased the 10 balls, we will actually send you um, a, 
um, the recording for free. You can also, if you haven't purchased the 10 balls, you can purchase the class. The class is then $30, or actually, yeah, it's $30 for the hour and a half. Moving right along, you're going to get one more thing with this, and that is going to be this great bag. So you probably think, oh, look, she's holding up the pillow. See, nope, I'm not holding up the pillow. I'm holding up a bag. Once more, we've gotten creative and we've created this great little um, modular bag that has a little bit of a rainbow zipper, which everyone tends to love. And um, it's more of a halfway notions, halfway project bag. I mean, if you were going to knit the hat or the pillow, you could easily fit it in this bag. You're obviously not going to fit the shawl in this bag. So in that case, you're going to want to use it as a, uh, um, some kind of a notions bag or something like that, but the bag comes with it too. So let me go over that one more time. All right. If you purchase the 10 balls of Ambiente, you're going to get the pattern from Kathy Gomez. Um, you are going to get your turbo US five needles and a 32 inch. You are going to get a, um, what else are we getting? I forgot. We're going to get the bag and you're going to get the class on how to do it. All those things, four things. That's pretty amazing. Anyways, and there's so many colors to choose from, you know, um, it's, it's a great thing. And if you don't want to make the shawl, you could still get your 10 balls and you could make yourself three pillows or you could make yourself five hats or something like that um, and still get all the other goodies to go with it. So that is our special for right now for today. And then what else do we have going on? We have new art gallery fabrics in, and this time they're very, very whimsical. Um, it is from one of their, uh, let's see here, what's this one called? Onward and Upward series. And this one here has really, really great unicorns on it. Um, the other one has some rabbits on it, which are really, really fun, or I should really call them hares because um, I think rabbits are smaller and cuter and these are a little bit bigger. And I just noticed I dropped my fabric again, but um, they are are really really great fabrics there's four in all and um, yeah and we just absolutely adore them so talking about whimsical we've decided to throw in a couple of whimsical buttons um, the first one are these cute little dragons and these are really hard to keep upright um, <laughs> on the box so you can see them but they are really really cute little dragons Hopefully you can see those. Um, I'll back up a little bit just in case. And uh, they are made out of plastic. They're kid friendly. They would look great, um, you know, on a cuff, uh, cuff, on a collar or somewhere on a jacket. I don't know if I'd actually use them as buttons. They'd be a little bit hard for a child to get through a buttonhole. Um, just being honest with you there. But they are really, really great um, add-on for anything that you've sewn, crocheted, or knitted. Put it on a hat for a kid. Um, actually, these, you know, some of these colors would look really, really great if you knit a cute little hat and you could put one of these on there. Um, wouldn't that be adorable? So I've also um, am featuring some really cute little unicorn buttons since we have the unicorn fabric. So these little unicorn buttons come in four colors. Once more, they're not as big as the dragons, but, um, you know, they would probably go through a buttonhole much easier. The dragons are gonna be a little bit tough. These would probably go through okay. So those are our buttons that we're featuring today. Now, everything else that I'm featuring is virtual. So I'm gonna get started. First of all, don't forget, we have another one of our auctions coming out. Um, and it's going to be on October 15th, and that is to support the Lambert House. 100% of the proceeds are going to be going to the Lambert House, which is um, in Seattle, and it is a home that caters for 10 to 21 or 22 year old um, uh, members of our um, LBGTQ community here in Seattle. And then on Tuesday, we have Tannis Gray joining us for Makers Night. That's at 5 p.m. Pacific time. No need to register anymore. The actual code for Zoom and the password are in the newsletter. And if you were not sure who Tannis Gray is, but you've heard her name before, uh, 
I think if you saw any of her work, you would probably recognize it. She has done so many designs for Vogue Knitting. She has also, she was also the uh, yarn editor for um, Vogue Knitting. She has worked with Warner Brothers and Disney um, and a whole slew of, the, of other companies. There's not a lot that she hasn't done in our industry. So I'm sure that it's going to be a very, very interesting talk. And that's Tuesday at 5 p.m. And then on Thursday at 5 p.m., we are going to have our weave-in and that's going to be hosted by Cynthia Giraud. So we had last month, um, we actually had a guest speaker, so Cynthia really didn't get to talk much. So I'm sure she will be updating us on what she's been working on at home. And of course, we encourage everybody to bring what you're working on at home too, so that we can see that. And then one last um, virtual thing that we have online, that is a uh, class with uh, Faina Goberstein. And for all of you who have ever started brioche and then you ran into a problem and you stopped, and so you just have that piece sitting there. We'll take this class because this is called Fixing Mistakes in Brioche. Um, can't get more simpler than that for the title. That's exactly what you're gonna learn how to do. And I think it's very important when you learn brioche that you learn how to fix the mistakes because it is a little overwhelming when you look at your piece and you're, you know, you dropped a stitch or this and you're like, how am I gonna do this? So uh, Faina is gonna go over that with you and that one is being held on um, October 15th as well. That will be from six to eight o'clock p.m. in the evening Pacific time. So that is everything for today's newsletter. It is Friday. We will see you again on Tuesday. Have an absolutely wonderful weekend. Get some creativity in there. Uh, some time to yourself. Maybe enjoy a really nice meal that you haven't had in a while. Stay safe and then we'll see you all on Tuesday. Ciao!